What's up, Falcons Nation? Atlanta Falcons Nation, it's your boy, Jew. Uh, I think we all know why we're here uh, to tackle the elephant in the room. Um, about maybe 25 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, uh, news broke about Julio Jones. So you guys know we had to get up here here on AFN and talk about it. Uh, the first lady should be joining me in a minute, uh, Miss Maggie T. Um, I believe Matt Mike has already went live and is already talking about uh, this Julio Jones saga. But uh, what's up to the nation in the chat? I see some of the people already in the chat. What's up to the nation? Uh, Reginald Banks, what's up? Uh, Buck Skull Gang uh, in house is in the building. Uh, the locker room, what's happening? Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. This Julio, this whole Julio Jones uh, thing, this whole Julio Jones saga. Uh, Tiny Falcon, uh, 118 in the building. Fuller Tony. Weezy B in the chat. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot that we're going to get into and talk about. Uh, Muhammad in the building. What's up to everybody? Uh, Atlanta Falcons Nation. Yeah, we're going to talk about this whole Julio Jones thing. Um, I don't know if you guys were watching Undisputed, but I was watching Undisputed about 20. I'll say it broke about 25 minutes ago, maybe a little bit longer at this point. Um, but I mean, my jaw hit the ground when I heard that Julio Jones, basically Shannon Sharp called Julio Jones just on the spot um, on the cell phone and put his his cell phone on speakerphone and basically asked Julio Jones. Um, if he was going to be traded or this, does he want to be traded to the Dallas Cowboys or did he want to stay in Atlanta? And basically he said, I'm out of there when it came to the Atlanta Falcons. He did say that he didn't. Um, What's up, Miss Maggie T? What's up? I try to hop on as quick as I can. y'all. So uh, we try to break. I try to get Matt Mike's uh, attention. If y'all can get him because he's still live. Tell him that we are live now here um, so he can kind of elaborate more. But um. Of course, it could, you know, it's it's from the horse's mouth. I mean, I don't know what you just mentioned. Um, well, I just started. I was in the middle of starting, like, saying when you popped in, I basically was saying Julio Jones said I'm out of there when Shannon Sharp called him. Yeah. Now, I don't think, and I'm, I'm saying a lot on Twitter with a lot of the media people saying, I don't think that Julio Jones might have realized that he was still alive on the air when I Shannon said, Sharp first called either. him because mm -hmm. he was basically just like, hey, this is your favorite uncle. He was like, what's up? Um, he started talking to him. So it sounded like Julio Jones was like in his car. He was like, I'm heading to see my brother. But I don't think he thought he was on record because he was just talking freely. So Shannon Sharp didn't mention that he was live until after the phone call. He, like at the end of the phone call, he was like, oh, yeah, we live on the air. So I know Julio yeah. probably had kind of put his foot in his mouth. But I, I, I <laughs> honestly think that, yeah, Julio kind of just spilt it. Now he didn't yeah. say he was going to the Cowboys, but it just seems like um, if you haven't mentioned this, Julio Jones is unhappy at this point. Yeah, so I kind of wants was just to win. To okay, okay. Yeah, I oh. had about anything. I literally just had jumped on and basically just was explaining what happened on Undisputed. How basically Shannon Sharp just called him on the spot. So I don't think he realized he was on the record when he was talking to him. I think he thought he was off record because he was talking freely. He basically was just like, "I'm out of there." I don't want to be traded. To, I don't want to play for the Cowboys, but I want to go to a team that I can win was basically the statement he said. So. So it makes you wonder. I hope you can hear me well, because I jumped on real quick. Um, It makes you wonder. That little leak conversation or whatever, I didn't even believe it, but where he was saying that um, it was something about Matt Ryan. I got to try to remind, remind rewind it in my head what was actually said, but. I know it was saying that he want to play for Cam and things like that. It's now starting to get to the point where is this clickbait or is this really what's being said? What do you think about that? Um, I don't think he made those statements about playing, wanting to play with Cam Newton. I think the whole issue is Julio Jones probably is at the point uh, now where it's kind of like, since y'all want to keep up my name and trade rumors and y'all don't want to shoot these rumors down, meaning yeah. like Arthur Blank and yes. Terry Fontenot, and Arthur Smith, nobody's kind of shot down these rumors. So I think Julio Jones is just kind of fed up with it. So at first, when I seen him with the Dallas hoodie on yesterday, I kind of thought that maybe he was just trolling. 
like maybe I'm gonna take a shot at the media because they keep saying I'm gonna be traded here, traded there. But now with this coming out and him basically stating, like it didn't sound like he was playing at all. He basically was just, and we know when Julio Jones speaks because he doesn't talk a lot, he means what he says. And he was like, I'm out of there. That's all he said. He didn't say where he was being traded. So what I'm thinking just from what he said is that the rumors that him being shot, you know, being shopped and them taking calls or him possibly being traded are real. At first, I thought it was just smoke. And yeah, they're taking calls. But how serious are these calls? But now from what he's saying, it's like from what he said, it kind of uh, it kind of feels like they've talked to him behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry Fontenot. Arthur Blink and basically told him we've tried to crunch these numbers and we don't see a way where we can keep this team intact. We're keeping you here. That's what it sounds like to me, just off, off of what he said. And yeah. I guess as far as Julio, I think they're, they're possibly trying to find a good team for him because they probably don't want to just dump him off on any team. They're probably they're probably telling him what teams you want to go to and, and trying to find the best suitor. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, and I don't, I don't, you know. Julio speaking the way he's speaking, it does sound like it's a possibility. Now, of course, it's not official or anything like that. So we just kind of come in here pre-warning what we're hearing. Right. But um, honestly, it's not about his skill set. It's really about the cap at this point, like you said. So it's going to hurt. It's definitely going to hurt to see Julio Jones gone. So, you know, of course, AFN, we've been um, – vouching for them and hoping and praying but at the same time it's business it is absolutely business and it's those tough decisions that terry keeps stating now who's to blame for it at this point you know it's the real true question i see y'all crying right now it's it's you know we just go let's prepare for it people um either he's just he's just doing like he normally do where he's trying to fish for more money and you know or try to figure something out with you know atlanta falcons nation I mean, well, Na nation atlanta falcons you know he kind of pulls this a few times he don't show up for training he don't you know so what do you think let me see what some of the fans are saying um in the chat i see somebody so, saying i hope this is fake news <laughs> i see somebody saying i hope this is fake news so, <sighs> nah it was really his voice hey, look. it was really his voice on that phone call and i think he was caught off guard he didn't i don't think he even realized until the end and it's like shh, you know yeah, he probably my, like god <laughs> damn it my foot's in my mouth now yeah it's like i can't take i can't retract <laughs> what i said that now. Back, you know he probably so, said um you should have told me i'm live on air and then ask me the questions don't just say hey what you want to do and then after the fact let me mention yeah we on air <laughs> So yeah. I feel for him. Yes, yeah, so I hope the Julio Jones can get traded to the San Francisco 49ers so he can win a Super Bowl since he doesn't want to be in Atlanta anymore. <sighs> this is going to be a tough one, you know, because, you know, I, I'm going to say it like this. It's going to hurt, but I'm loyal to the logo. I'm loyal to the logo as well. Like, I'm still going to be a Falcon fan. It's going to hurt because I got my Julio Jones jersey on now. I got my new, my new Julio Jones, fresh Julio Jones jersey for the new season. But... I mean, like we said, nothing is official. As we There's know, money, is official. money talks. If he Absolutely. goes back to the table and they say, look, Julio, what can we, is there anything that we can do, you know, to keep you here? He may say, you know what, I just want an extension. Because we know, even with this whole Aaron Rodgers thing with Green Bay, that's, he's going through a similar type situation. A lot of the times, it's money. You know, it comes down to the money. But it's a business. So if they say, look, Julio, We'll extend you. What's, what do you want? What can we do to make you happy? Because Matt Ryan is still here. We know Matt Ryan is still here. It restructured his deal. So maybe if, if Matt if Matt Ryan, uh, Arthur Blank, and all of them call a meeting, maybe they can change his mind. But at this point, because like I said, he was he didn't know he was – I don't think he didn't know that he was uh, live on air. So he may have just been talking freely, and in his mind, he, did, he didn't know that the whole universe was going to hear him say this. So and now, I, of course, the Falcons are probably feeling a certain type of way because that lowers our chances of being able to trade him. Like if, if they know that we want want him gone or if he wants out, teams are not going to offer us what we want in the trade. Want, so yeah. that kind of sucks that he kind of that I really feel like I feel bad because I love Shannon Sharp. But Shannon Sharp put Julio Jones in a bad situation, in a bad position at this point. So. 
And Muhammad, at the same time, I don't know. It doesn't seem like conversations are going right now. And maybe um, Julio Jones is taking his own initiative and starting to train with other people and just preparing himself. Um, because they'll keep saying that they're not shopping, you know, for you know, for him at this moment. Right. That's what they're saying. So at the same time, they're not maybe they're not communicating. They made their decision, but you got We got to have that open dialogue on this end. So now he's having a fit about things. But then again, maybe they did speak to each other, and he knows he's out of here. So he's just getting ready for that. He's just waiting on June first, right, for them to make that announcement. And he's already like, I'm already out of here. So even though it was caught off, but I think we already pretty much getting our answer for the most part. Now, this is a good comment right here, Miss Maggie. Uh, mm -hmm. Matthew, he's basically saying like he maybe Pitts mm -hmm. rotates to, from tight end to wide receiver. And I can see that because we've talked about Pitts is not just a, a tight end. He is a wide receiver slash tight end. He's a, a player you can use on a lot of different positions. You can use him as a wide receiver. So maybe as Falcons fans, you know, we've been saying, well, we're loading up. Now we're going to add Pitts to this team. Maybe drafting Kyle Pitts was um, basically an insurance policy where if we weren't able to keep Julio, we will have another dynamic player. I never looked at it as, you know, like that because I was thinking, okay, we're getting him to add we to getting, Julio, Calvin Ridley. Yeah, that's what but I was hoping for. <laughs> that's a good point that Matthew was making. Maybe he was the insurance policy because what it sounds like, just and this is just me, Miss McAtee, what I'm thinking, what it sounds like to me is, when we drafted Pitts initially, because this is Terry Fontenot's first time as a GM, maybe when they were crunching the numbers, they didn't know whether they would be able to get under the cap if Julio's still on the team. So originally going into it, I think that they did think, well, we're going to be able to keep Julio and have Kyle Pitts and have Calvin Ridley. But now with them probably going back and crunching the numbers since they got the full draft class here, they're probably looking at trading Julio Jones may be the best thing for the team. And sometimes as a business, that might be the best move. It might be the best yeah, move because uh, you may have to cut multiple starters. And they're probably looking like, oh, you want to you wanna yeah. win now or you want to win later is the question right. here. And we've been trying to get a hold of Matt Mike. I guess he over there yelling at folks and stuff. <laughs> I tried to message him. I went on the live. I spoke to him. If y'all over there, tell this man to come on, jump on. But if not, we're not going to be much longer, you know, because I know we're on the times restraint right about now. But. Um, keep it coming. Keep the comments coming. Let's see. Um, I see someone saying Hayden Hurts about to play wide receiver. No, I can't see Hayden Hurts playing a wide receiver, but he's a guy that can. He's definitely a, a good tight end, and he's you can use him as a wide receiver. They split him out wide as well. We have a number of weapons. I'm just saying that the, ch the tr change from like a tight end to a wide receiver permanently. I could see them doing it with a guy like Kyle Pitts because he's built. He's not even really built necessarily like a tight end. He's built kind of like a wide receiver, kind of like a Calvin Johnson type. And he runs routes like a wide receiver. He just doesn't get in and out of his breaks as good as a guy like a Julio Jones. Julio, to me, is a lot faster getting in and out of his breaks from what I've seen out of the college tape of a guy like Kyle Pitts. But we have, look, we have weapons. And that was the reason yeah. on my channel, I think it was a, like two or three days ago, I did a video of, can the Falcons win a Super Bowl without Julio Jones? Because I kept seeing the rumors coming that Julio's going to get traded. Julio's going to get traded. And personally, i seen somebody say on Twitter, like, the Falcons are not going to win more than five games or something like that this season without Julio. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think the yeah. Falcons... Because he, he was out last season, you know? I think we yeah. still can have a successful season without mm -hmm. Julio. Now, do I want to see Julio gone? No. Yeah. Like, if, we have, if it's any way we can change his mind... Or he can take back those words that he just said on live air. Hey, I would love to keep Julio because you can't replace a player like that. The Hall yeah. of Fame, the talent Julio is, generational talent, you can't replace him. So, yeah, what Twisted Torch TV said, uh, Terry is going to take care of it, guys. I'm not really worried. Like I said, this is not official. This is not, yeah. you know, nothing that came out of the front office. It was kind of an off guard conversation with Julio and Shannon. So, yeah. but it, it kind of, all these rumors that's been coming out, it kind of pushed the envelope a little bit more. Now it's like, hmm, what yeah. is really happening right now? So, of course, AFN is not saying that he's gone, but right. just prepare yourself for the what ifs on June 1st. I'll say this too, Miss Maggie, that now I'm not going to no longer say that these trade rumors are just smoke. 
these trade rumors are real because yes. it came from the player. See, it's one thing when it comes from the front office, GM, and the media because they have to make stories. But when it's an actual player saying that, yeah, they're I'm looking to shop home. me and I'm gone, what yeah. that means is they're trying to find a good home for him. That's all that means. Like That means that his, na- his days in Atlanta are numbered. Whether it's this year or whether it's next year, Julio Jones' days are definitely numbered because it came out of his mouth. And that's why I say that I believe just hearing from what he said, read between the lines, he's talked to the front office already because he wouldn't get on get on live air or even tell Shannon in a private conversation that I'm out of Atlanta just on his own. Somebody in the front office have talked to him and said, these cap numbers are looking, you know, we strapped. And if he asked for mo- more money, they may have already told him, we can't give you the money you're looking for. Because Julio may have already tried to negotiate. Yeah. We don't know. You know, he may have already said, well, can y'all turn my this bonus money, you know, to give give me all of my money up front as bonus money to keep me on the team. And they may have told him that's going to strap the, the organization too much. So it's all speculation at this. Point. Yeah. And get dubs, biscuits. It's not sugarcoating anything. It's just that we can't make an official announcement of it until it is official, you know. So it's still he say, she say at this point. We're so speculating. It's, yeah, we're speculating. Of course, we heard it from the horse's mouth, but until we get the official, okay, it's it's correct. This right. is what we're doing. We really can't put that narrative out there. Then it's like everybody's running with it, like, oh well, Atlanta Falcons Nation said right. this, that, and the other. We don't want we don't want to put false pretenses out there. But of course, the writing's clearly on the wall, people. So yeah. you know, it's not sugarcoating. It's just let's get ready for it. So you you know, when breaking news comes, it's like, oh well. We kind of knew it. Y'all can still cry. I got all kinds of tissues, and we're gonna get a Jew talk sports rant. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get a rant. Like if, if Julio gets traded, we're gonna get a rant because what I don't like about this whole issue, this whole Julio Jones issue, is the front office told us that we're trying to win now. And if you're trying to win a Super Bowl now, you don't trade your best offensive weapon. You know what I'm saying? And to me, the smarter thing would have been trading back if mm-hmm. if you thought that you weren't going to be able to pay because we had that fourth pick and that fourth pick acquires a lot of money in cap space so if you thought well we're not going to be able to pay our draft class the smarter move may have been to, to either trade back and not take a guy like cal Pitts with that first pick or not even draft anybody at four but what they're looking at and i can i can play both uh ends of the spectrum what i think they're looking at is we can get Cal Pitts as an insurance policy. If we have to get rid of Julio, we have another generational talent. And Arthur Blink talked about it. I don't just want to win now, but I want to win for years to come and later. So we may just have to let Cal Pitts develop and be patient. That's That may be the road and that they're taking. We got Calvin Ridley that's been trained up under the best. Exactly. You know, um, he's been number two so far. And now if it's, it's the case, this is an opportunity to prove himself at this point. You know, and it's still a competition at the end of the day. It's still business. So. Yeah. It's a good question right here, Miss Maggie. Somebody's mm-hmm. asking who, what should we trade for? Him? Uh, I'll say for Julio, I'm, if we're trading for picks, you got to give me at least one first round pick and maybe a third round pick. But if we're trading like players, if we can get, you know, uh, Khalil Mack, I've talked about it before. If we could get um, like a good defensive player, that because we know we're weak on the oh, defensive side of the ball. Please. We can get an impact, like a defensive impact player, whether it's a, a lockdown corner or an edge rusher. Personally, I prefer an edge rusher. The thing about that is, can we afford them? You know what I'm saying? Like, That's, if we don't have exactly, them the field, how are we going to pay? Khalil Mack or whoever, because whoever you trade for them, if they're a well-known player, they have a big contract as well, and we're not going to be able to pay them either. So it sounds like it's going to be picks if we end up trading them. You got the numbers because I didn't. I jumped on here real quick. So I mean, basically, what are we losing and gaining by getting rid of Julio Jones? I don't have the cap numbers right here handy. Maybe that's something you know that that's case style specialty, and maybe that's something we'll talk about tonight. But I think for what they were saying is this year we saved like 10 to 15 million is, I believe, what the rumor was. But what people weren't saying is next year we're going to have dead cap money. So we're winning this year. Like we're going to save this year if we trade them, but we're not going to save money next year. We're going to have to still have that dead cap money because Julio Jones still is 
uh, still has three years left under under contract. Yeah. So that's why I say it really doesn't benefit us to trade him. As much as the media keeps saying, you trade them now, trade them now, you save money. Yeah, we'll trade, we'll save money this year, but then we're still going to have that dead cap money, just like we have for the guys like Devonte Freeman that we're still paying that we end up cutting just like the Jamon Browns and just like the James Carpenter, even though they're no longer Falcons, we're still paying those guys. And that's why we're in the cap hill we're in right now <laughs> because Thomas Dimitrov made some bad decisions. Yeah, so I yeah. can't really put this on Terry. Like as much I can't as I put it on Terry. Of course he, he knew what the situation is. And of course he can't, he can't do the favoritism thing anymore. He can't. Right. You know, if we really want to win, of course we could definitely get it with Julio Jones, but. This might be that tough decision that he had to make, unpopular opinion and all that, but right. because of what they what they're trying to get rid of the old regime and the bad contracts and the dead caps and things like right. that, they're gonna have to make the I guess this is what they're doing, making those tough decisions for us so we can win later in the future. Right. And that. sometimes you have to make those hard decisions. To be honest with you, sometimes you have to make the hard decisions now so we'll win later. So as much as I hate to see Julio Jones go, if he does end up getting traded, it may be for the best. Now, personally, I think that you're going to bite the bullet early. Like if you get, if we really trade him this year, we're going to probably it's going to take a while for a guy like Kyle Pitts to catch catch up and try to pick up that production. Because Julio Jones, that's 13 to 1500 yards a season. That's at least six to eight touchdowns a season you're losing. And that's a guy in matchup situations where how I talk about right now, the matchup situation is, is crazy as far as you have to double team. You can't double team everybody. Losing a guy like Julio would be crazy because now you don't have to worry about Julio Jones when you're game planning for the Atlanta Falcons if he ends up uh, being traded. So I definitely think that it's going to be it's going to be bittersweet. It'll be bittersweet if Julio Jones is traded. But like I said, you never know. You never know. You, never you know, know, and what uh, I'm gonna go back to Twisted Torch. Um, you know, he wants to win, you know, and he wants and Shannon also stated he wants to stay in Atlanta, but wants to win. Of course, the front office and Julio just need to have a talk about their plans on winning. Um, but right, he wants to win. So as at this point, he's like, I don't care where I go at this point, but it won't be the Cowboys. But then again, he right. might not be saying it loudly. It's just how running he had on that cowboy shirt, and of course, you know some old favors are over there. Yeah, you think that you you, you work better <laughs> up, you know, over there with him, Mister DQ. Is, is that nah. the question? Even though he's defense <laughs> over there, but still, like, do he want to just go back to some familiar faces? And he felt, I don't know, like it's yeah, they I can't afford know. him anyway, though, because <laughs> the the pitcher they can't afford him either because of the contracts that they have. Unless they trade us like Amari Cooper or Zeke Elliott, like unless they give us one of their star players and we kind of do like a swap type deal, the Cowboys can't afford Julio Jones. I think it was just a coincidence because he said that he's actually training in Dallas and he was on his way to a training when uh, Shannon Sharp called him. I'm going to work out with my brother, but he's in Texas right now working out. So I think he was actually uh, seen like on Instagram working out with Derrick Henry in yeah. Texas. Mm -hmm. So. I think he's he just happened to be down there in Texas and had that Dallas Cowboy hoodie on. I don't think it's nothing to that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like I said, I didn't really read too much into it because there's a lot of people that like look how Matt Mike came on here with a Titan shirt on. Right. People right. sometimes people just wear gear like yeah, you guys wear hats and you know things that's related to matching your outfits and stuff like that. So I don't put too much into what I seen there, but the words that he said on Undisputed was kind of. In a way, it really wasn't fair to Julio Jones if he wasn't, you know, now someone saying that it's possible that he told him to call him. Right. But he would have been prepared for that first call and then he called back. So he, if he really set that up, he would have yeah. been prepared for that phone call, to be honest. So I really yeah, think, I think that was this was kind of messed up. Yeah, I it think was it was out the blue. blue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't think he knew because I think uh, Shannon was like, do you want me to call him? And then, of course, get Bayless because he used to be a reporter. He's like, yeah, call him. See if he and he's like, Leo, if you're watching, please pick up. And then he put his phone on speaker and he actually answered. But it sounded like I said, it sounded like he was in his car because he told Shannon to hold on and you can hear the wind. In the, so it sounded like he was driving his car. And he put the speaker on his car, put his phone on speaker on his car. So I don't think that he knew that he was actually live. 
which yeah. I think okay. Shannon Sharp next time he needs to do a better job because trust me, him and Julio are gonna have a talk after this because now it's everywhere, all in on the media and social media, Twitter and everywhere. So Julio probably definitely gonna hit Shannon up like you gotta tell me next you, time. You you gotta tell me, man. I ain't gonna answer your phone calls no more. Right. You know I'll call you. Record. Right. As a <laughs> as a media guy, you gotta say this is on record or off record. He didn't tell him that until he had already said all that stuff, and then he said, "Oh, we live on air." <laughs> it's like, so oh. like, okay, well, it's, then it cut off. I was like, "Mm hmm, that wasn't." <laughs> I, I see you. I know we all in our feelings, King. Uh, you know all this craziness on a Monday. Uh, we probably won't be on too too much longer. I was trying to hold out, see if Matt might want to jump on, but I think that man's still live right about now. I don't know who he's talking to. But <laughs> yeah, he probably is. But I wanted to jump on real quick. I wanted to jump on with him, but I didn't know he was gonna go live so quick. So I just wanted to jump in real quick and I'm gonna chew him know, out and, gonna and get talk a about couple it. of cussing outs. That's what he's gonna get. <laughs> just wanted to talk about it real quick. But like I said, my initial reaction is I'm hot about the situation. Like Miss Maggie said, rent's coming up on my channel definitely here at AFN. I'm sure uh K Styles tonight's gonna talk about it, and maybe I'll hop on with K Styles, but my initial reaction is just I'm ticked off because I want Julio to be here. And I feel like Julio deserves to retire Falcon. Like, I feel like we have to do better as an organization. Yeah. A player that's been here and gave their blood, sweat, and tears, unless it's the player forced their way out, because we don't know. Julio may have went to them for, you know, the He yeah, went the and trade. wasn't wasn't happy. And yeah, what, he what could, they were saying to him. Right. But if this is a situation where it's like the Atlanta Falcons again, kind of how we did Roddy White, where – we're just deciding to move on. I think that we got to do a better job about treating our legends better. Like we, none of our legends seem to retire other than Jesse Tuggle and a handful of other guys got to retire as Falcons. Uh, Terrence Mathis talked about on Atlanta sports unlimited in his last video that he wanted to retire a Falcon, but he wasn't able to, and it was bittersweet. So we got to treat our legends better, man, as an organization, mm -hmm. Because players oh my goodness, absolutely. are not going to stick around. They're not going to sign, extend their contracts and things of that nature in free agency if we don't treat our, our legends better. I mean, and Julio deserves better if, if it's us deciding that, yeah, we're just going to cut his career short here in Atlanta and we're going to move on. I feel like I understand it's a business. Don't get me wrong. It's a business. But at the same time, Julio Jones has given us 11 great years and he deserves better treatment if that's what's going on. Yeah. Now, what Dasman said is he also is tired of them hiring these trash coaches and this, you know, I mean, and honestly, it, it makes you feel uneasy. Like, OK, now I got to start over with somebody new. And he's probably looking at it like, OK, my clock is ticking right about now. I right. want to win. I want to ring. So Atlanta, yeah, I'm still trying to figure this out right about now. Right. I don't know if I want to go through this again. That so, could be the issue. That mm -hmm. could be the issue. Now I'll say this. This is a hot take from Jew. Just look out for Matt Ryan. It could be some things. I'm not saying Matt Ryan's going, you know, say he want to be traded, but he may not. He may retire early. He may he may decide that he don't want to be here anymore because when you get rid of guys like on Julio's caliber, it's not good on the organization. Period. Like all these players that look up to Julio as a leader in the locker room, Calvin Ridley. A lot of these players are not going to be happy. I know Julio uh, Matt Ryan is not happy because. He already had his he already had his press conference with the media last week. And you seen how he was looking. He didn't look too thrilled to answer those questions about Julio. Yeah, he looked like he was they kept throwing him across, you know, in the against the wall and he had to answer it. But you can see a sadness in Matt Ryan's eyes that he and I think that's why he made that statement the way he did. I think he was already giving Julio Jones his flowers right then and there. Right. And without he possibly knew. being obvious about it. I think he I mean, because yeah. I'm pretty sure you're you're the leader. You know, I'm pretty sure those conversations have been happening. So he yeah. he know it's coming. Writing's on the wall, basically. The, the writing's, writing's on the wall, wall. So he gave him his his um. Yeah, he gave his flowers, as you said. He definitely gave his flowers because if you go back and listen to it, he did kind of say like it's been a pleasure playing with him. You know, he's been the best player. He's had the most impact. You know, since I've been here in Atlanta on my career. So. It kind of did sound like a farewell type message that he was given. So, yeah. like I said, we we're not trying to break any news. The only news we break is what we heard Julio Jones say out of his own mouth. Like I said, things could he still could be here, be here in Atlanta this year. We don't know, but from what it sounds like, it sounds like these trade rumors are real. So it ain't it's no longer smoke. It's fire. 
in the building. It says this is real. And um, I think Mike said he's about to jump on real quick. If y'all want to hang tight, and I know Jew, of course, if you, you know, I know. Yeah, yeah, I got, got the it. little one. If I have to hop off, I'll hop off. But okay, <laughs> loyal to the logo, you know, absolutely. At the end of the day, we've lost some great people, some people that went off and did their thing, and you know, Hall of Famers and all of this. But just who do you blame at this point? Is it the owner? Yeah, I think to me, I think that Arthur uh, Arthur Blank's gonna get his feet held to the fire as well because. You know, he came out saying all of that talking for life stuff. And when you say something, you have to keep your word. I understand that it's a business. Things change. But you got to take care of your players. You have to take care of your players, your star players. And it's not like Julio Jones game has took a dip. I understand that Julio Jones was not the same player he once was. Then, then that's not really back in, you know, going back on your promise because it's like, well, you didn't keep your end of the bargain. You're not performing. We all, ha we all have jobs to understand on your job. You have to perform at a certain level. If you don't perform at that level, you get replaced. But in Julio Jones situation, it's not a performance type issue. This is a no. cap issue. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's definitely a cap issue. If so, we know it's gonna be, a, it's gonna hit us. Uh, and just J Rock, go ahead and drop that Discord so everybody can join the conversation right after. Please do, um, if you can't put that in the chat. But you know, uh, no one we lost is uh, Julio's. No one we lost is of Julio's caliber. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the that's thing. Fact. You, you're never gonna have another Julio Jones. Nah, I'll say the only player in history probably lost that we should have kept is uh Deion Sanders. He left because he said he wasn't even offered a contract, but that was by the former ownership, the Smiths that owned the Falcons back in the day. And then the Roddy White situation when he was run out of town by Cal Shanahan and the coaching staff that we had, and that goes back to what I believe. Uh, Desmond is his name. What he was saying about the trash coaches we've had. <laughs> that goes back to that because Al Shanahan basically skipped town. He he fought to get Julio Jones out the building. And then we went to the Super Bowl and then he was gone. He was only in Atlanta for like two, two, three years. So that's when I talk about being loyal to your legends. Like Roddy White was here long before Shanahan and he should have been here long after. He should have been able to retire on his own terms. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was just shocking to hear Julio say that on live. I don't think he was knew knowing he was on live, honestly. Thanks, uh, uh Jay Rock, for the um Discord link. Y'all go follow that so y'all can join the conversation afterwards. And then of course, we're about to have a whole new show tonight. So y'all make sure y'all tune in for just case well, not just case styles. Yes. You're right. Kicking yeah, it with K Styles. <laughs> kicking it with K Styles show tonight, you know. Um, I would say hold on for Mike. I don't know where he at right now, so I'll hold on a couple of more minutes. Um, but that's it, man. I mean, it's really no update to what he had to say. Now we just have to pay attention to the media. I mean, you know, what's the organization has to say to follow up on that because I know it's coming. They're going to definitely ask them like, so. Right. So, yeah, so now it's about to get no real. Net. It's going to get it's, real, real. It's about, to, it's about to get real now because he didn't say what he said, but like I said, it kind of hurts us that he said what he said because now teams, if they really know that Oh They're yeah, really he's out the door anyway. It's like I ain't yeah. even gotta buy the buy the barn for him. You know, it's just mm -hmm. he's willing to come on over here if the price is right. Right. So now we kind of put our foot in our own mouths. Like I said, it ain't Julio Jones' fault. I blame it's Shannon not, Sharp for not telling him he was live. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It it was it's bad business at this point. Um, there's definitely should have been some communications and Julio. Um, what's up, Matt Mike? He's trying What's going to get his audio together. He's going to oh, get it they... together. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. Y'all just, just you got to be patient, y'all. Good gracious. Patient? Well, you just went live. What are you talking about, being patient? We got a whole we got a whole show tonight, too. We, we can, can't we give can them two words. <laughs> we can redo it again this uh, afternoon. Well, we have to be the first to get the stuff out there, No, sir. we did not. Yes, we do. <laughs> we were first. We was already first. No, you Good was first. God. We can't do We got to give him a little bit of this. We got to give him a little <laughs> bit of that. We got to. Yes, AFN was going to go tonight. But that's a whole nother question. That's a whole nother no. damn story. All right. No, All we, these can, damn we can elaborate more. Here. All these damn we... crybabies. <laughs> we yeah, gave a little bit of Tonight, we, we can elaborate. 
We gave him a sample. We gave him an appetizer. That's no, you can't give him appetizer. You can't. You can't. You can't give him a look. You can't give him. Everything. <laughs> you gotta give him a little bit. Y'all can't give him everything. Mike, you already. We gonna have everything. three shows tonight. God damn it! How how y'all like <laughs> that? How y'all like it. that? I love it because everybody told me right like now. Three shows in one day. It's amazing. How about that? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people. We're talking to the people. How do y'all like three shows it. in the day? They love it. Because people on their lunch break getting some news from AFN. How about that? Go ahead, y'all. Put a black and red in the chat. Shut up, but Matt. Look, Mike, okay. I ain't got the energy. I ain't got the time. I ain't got the time for this crap. I ain't got it. I, I don't have it. Well, bye. <laughs> I'm already pissed off. I'm already pissed off. The goddamn Julio be gone, and now y'all want to do another live show? Yep. Good gracious. We gonna tell Mike like Kirk Cousins. You like that? Okay. I, 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 we I, like that. We like that. Okay, we like that. God dang it! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, see, they appreciate it. I love listening to y'all. So I'm um fine with three shows. Absolutely, and y'all gonna tune in. <sighs> And we might even do something special one of these nights because we want to hear what the fans got to say too. But let's wait till it's you know official. We ain't doing nothing. We ain't doing nothing. You know, we, my, we, you Julio, we ain't doing nothing. Let me jump you off the screen because you just own one. You already left your stream and own one still. So, uh, Julio, Julio should Stop give talk no common sense. us more consideration. We gave him money with three years left on his original deal. Let's do it. You know, everybody's ready. Red and black. Alex, that's right. So y'all make sure y'all tune in tonight so you won't miss this. And then Matt might might calm down a little bit and be ready <laughs> for the night because you already know. It, there's no such thing as too nothing. much. What I got to calm? Why I always got to calm, calm down? Why I always got to calm? Why everybody want me to calm down? Why I got to calm down? Because you lost your voice last night. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's y'all fault. If y'all <laughs> if y'all would have just left Julio alone, we wouldn't be in this problem. That ain't no y'all. Thank you, Twisted. You gonna be on for the night? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, you know, know, so we're gonna have to jump on tonight. It's gonna get real tonight. We got to. That's right. So any last words, Matt, Mike, Mr. Man Angry. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and cut this short so we can get ready for tonight's show. Let's go, let's go, let's go, fans. Y'all make sure y'all tune into that too. What you got? Follow this forward, I'm, man. I'm stressed out. I, I'm stressed <laughs> out, man. I'm 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 stressed out, man. I I, I I don't I don't know what I can do. I I, I just don't I, I I don't get it. What is the world? What is the world trying to do to me? I just lost my voice last night listening to church, uh -huh. and now I wake up to this mess. What the heck? What is going on, people? Man, Mike, Why do they that. hate us so much? <laughs> oh Lord Jesus! Oh Lord Jesus! What are they trying to do to you, boy? All right, so Twisted Torch will be on tonight. Oh, um, Jew, you jumping back on? Matt, Mike, uh, yeah. uh, Just K <laughs> Styles, the old gang's gonna be on live. Oh, so y'all tune Jesus. in tonight. Let Mike uh, kind of uh, you know, breathe, get some water and honey and tea, <laughs> so he can get on and do this all over again. Man. This man, all the way lied. He lied to us. He lied, bro. I just, I don't know what else to, oh, oh my God. You know what, he didn't lie. lie. This, he also, he said, Julio is Falcon for life. But at the same no. time, he was saying, I'm giving the reins to no, the coach no, 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 and no. GM. No, no, he did no, say he that. lied. He did oh, lie. I heard what he said. He still lied. He lied, but he still, he at least told us that he was going to leave it up. Let to them so, like, I said, mm -hmm. I, like I said before, it was not. It was never their decision. He made that decision. Get rid of Julio Jones is his decision. It's not Arthur and it's not Terry. It's always the owner. He decided that he wanted to move on. What was the right move to make to get rid of Julio Jones over quarterback? Because when it all comes down to it, we always say this one thing. Follow the money. The money will tell you. The Falcons cannot afford to get rid of Matt Ryan. It would cripple the franchise. And, and the Falcons, they are not interested in getting anything less than a first-round pick for Julio Jones. And I totally agree with it. Do I like it? Hell no, because I'm scratched out. 
Not yeah, stress I'm stressed out. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Out. I, I had to jump what, right what, off a of work. Capital K. This thing. Me and um, Jew had to say something because uh, I was right at work, stressed <laughs> off of work. Like, look, begin. We going in right now, but we'll be on tonight, people. Make sure y'all tune in. You know. Eli. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm 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 just so emotional right now. I look. I'm um I don't I don't I I can't even freaking talk right now. I I, oh my god! What the Go heck is going up, on? Go rest up, Matt Mike. Go Julio rest up, Jones. Matt Mike. Julio Jones. Well, <sighs> Jew, let's go ahead and close this on out, people. I'm Make sorry, sure y'all tune back I, I'm in. sorry. I'm <laughs> Uh, and whoever followed you on Jew Talk Sports, I apologize. I ruined the whole show, but I'm stressed out. Okay, I, I'm, I'm just, just I, He's stressed. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. But this is Julio Jones, man. No more Julio Jones. I I don't know how to. I I really don't know how to. Fight. I honestly don't know how. I've been preparing myself for it. I knew it was going to come this year or next year, but I wasn't ready for it. And I'm going to tell you right now, when Matt Ryan, Matthew Thomas Ryan retire, and he hangs it up, I might even shed a tear. I'm so emotional right now, and I'm not going to lie to you. No, this I'm does I'm, not I'm, feel good whatsoever. It doesn't feel good. But it doesn't feel gotta good. Have you got to have change. You got to have change, man. <laughs> and we are, we funny. We trying, you know. I'm going to give Matt Mike a hug so he'll be man, I'm sweating like <laughs> ready a- to go. Um, you know, hey, man. in that 90 degree weather, he outside just sweating and mad and losing voices and stuff. So we're going to do this again late on the night. I'm you know, in the and- house. I'm in the house. No AC on right now. Ooh, so, yeah. Hey, Donta. How you doing? How you doing? We getting ready to jump off of here, though. Appreciate you. And that, that's a, a Panthers fan, actually. Change is hard. Absolutely. I feel so sick. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's like a it's like you losing your best friend. That's how it okay. feels. Mm-hmm. That's this. It is what it is. But at this point, we we not gonna hold y'all too much. Y'all just make sure y'all tune in tonight, cause we finna have a full house. Cause everybody got something to say tonight. So come back and hear what Just K Styles and Twisted and more <laughs> Matt Mike and his stressing, along <laughs> with our stressing, because we are. Um, is it real? It, it came out the horse's mouth. So let's see how they follow up with <laughs> that situation. Um, but it is what it is, people. He's requesting the trade. So hey, you can't do nothing when it comes from the horse's mouth. <laughs> you know, that's more it. like a bad divorce. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't <laughs> save her. That man she don't want to be wins. saved. Look, that's all I say. <laughs> All right, people. Look, I'll what say is this the too, next time? And I'm gonna reiterate ahead, this on and then hold on. One, one more. I'm gonna reiterate this tonight and I'm gonna go further in detail with this. But if Julio Jones thinks he's gonna go to another team and it's gonna automatically win, then he's dumber than I thought he was. All right, and that's all I got to say about that. Well, on that note, <laughs> y'all come give um Matt Mike your opinions about that, but we're getting ready to go ahead and end it. Appreciate y'all. Oh, I see some real upset people there. Okay, Robbie White. But <laughs> let's keep all the energy for tonight's show. Um, we'll set it up and let y'all y'all see it announced. And we'll be back, people. To the next time. Go ahead and subscribe to Jew Talk Sports, Mad Mike Sports, Miss Maggie T, as well as AFN. And we appreciate y'all. And we out. Peace. Peace. <laughs>